Have you ever seen the insides of an electronic device like a phone, computer or radio? If yes, then you probably saw these beautiful boards with copper chases and components soldered onto them. They are called printed circuit boards or PCBs for short. They are used in almost all electronic devices, they are hidden literally everywhere. Their main use is to connect and hold in place all components of an electronic circuit and their qualities are much better than those of breadboards for example. Today it is possible for practically everyone to design and get their own circuit board in less than a week. The design process typically goes something like this. Choose a program to help you, for example CACAD. It's solid, free and open source. Come up with the circuit and its schematic. Next you need to place the footprints of each component, connect everything with traces and decide on the board's size and shape. When you're finished, order the PCB or produce it yourself. The manufacturing process goes something like this. First, the design has to be confirmed and cleared of any errors. After that, the copper traces are being printed in layers, like a sandwich. When the layers are done, a machine performs optical inspection to confirm there are no flaws. Next, the layers are fused together into one board. Now it's time to drill any holes required by the design. It's remarkable that the drills can achieve whole diameters smaller than human hair. After a couple more processes, the silk screen is applied and the board is ready for an electrical test. More details about the manufacturing process in the description. This has been PCBs in 100 seconds. Like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one.